What's going on, everybody? I'm, uh... You know, I got nothing here. I got nothing today. I got a, I got a, bar -bo I got a barbobbly poop today. Over here. And that cat is real loud, dude. Uh, it's barbobbly boop. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I got to take a little barbobbly boop. Um, it's got to be manager in here, right? Um... Filk Money, what's going on, buddy? Welcome back. Long time no see, sir. Yeah, it's probably Mandarin. I feel like I open Mandarin way more than any other card. He is so loud, dude. In my head, I'd be like, well, maybe he's hungry. But no, dude, that that cat ate. What, what, what if I... I'm gonna let you, maybe I'll make just you... Maybe I'll let you pick all the buzz, cards. Buzz, 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 buzz. I knew it was coming. I felt it. I was like, this is not gonna go well. Dang it. Um... I can't even I can't even fault you for it. Yeah, I earned take it. Remand. All right, I'm gonna take this remand. You ready? Mm -hmm. This is a this is a pro impromptu stipulation draft where Mike makes all the picks after we after the manager ain't obviously. The shadows. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Five months in a row. Really appreciate it. I know you've obviously not had as much time to uh, to join in. Still appreciate the support, buddy. Thank you so much. Do I want a Gotham or do I want a Batter Skull? <laughs> I mean, hmm. if also you... a sad robot. A sad robot. That's true. I think it's sad robot. You want sad robot? Yeah. All right. He does look really sad. You can counterspell their two drop with manager and then sad robot. That's like you, you save a whole mana, dude. Yeah. I didn't even know there was GP coverage. I checked earlier today at like 2 p.m. And I was like, and Magic, the Magic channel wasn't online. And I was just like, that's weird to me. Phil Money with the 12-month sub. Thank you so much, man. I cannot believe it has been a year. Thanks for the great. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. You are great. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I don't care. Looks okay. like it's old prayer hands. I do like prayer hands here. Final answer? Yeah. All right. It's also one white, so it's easier than the Elspeth. I like it. I like what you're saying here. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Putting down into our... Are you okay? I'm trying to get the... See how there's that little thing in the background? Like, by my head? I think it's... Yeah, it's because your uh, your chair is pushing into it, so it's giving it more more texture so that the light can catch. It's physics, man. Uh, why didn't I play the GP? I just... I didn't really feel like traveling there and dealing with all that nonsense and... It was just a whole whole to do that I didn't feel like dealing with. So, I and also they they scheduled it uh, inconveniently during Vintage Cube season. So, I mean that's their problem, not mine. How you doing over there? I think it might be blink of an eye. Look at this hoof though. It could go into the hoof side. I mean we don't have no hoof deck though. Not yet. We can go turn four mana drain their four drop and then turn five hoof. Ooh, nice. <laughs> what are you saying? What do you what's your pick, man? I think it's blink of a night. Blink? Yeah. Into the Royal? Sounds good. Well, it's not my desire. Maybe four spike. Got your Sharina from Rock. I had lost twenty pounds. That's awesome. Not only is it awesome that you lost twenty pounds, it's awesome that like you can just watch Twitch while you while you while you walk, which is super sweet. What a time to be alive. What did you say? What was your pick? You think it's four spike or go for the throat? Now you want to got him. I think it's go for the throat. <laughs> did you draft fifteen dollars? Watching Frank draft priceless. Let's do add command stip. You said what? Go for the throat. Mm -hmm. Really? Really? The sea rags art. Yeah? Old creepy boy? Mm-hmm. Old claw hands McGee? Looks like a weird chicken. It's <laughs> it does look like a weird chicken, but so do you, so you know. Wow. You wanna take Tangalar? No. That's one of your favorite cards, isn't it? Didn't you say the other day that you really like Tango? No, it's one of my least favorite cards. Zaxor, thank you so much for the bits. How about Mike? Four bits to slap Mike? No, how about ten? <laughs> uh, ten? Mole Drifty. Does ten feel... I didn't even see that Mole Drifter. 
the the text box was over it, the pop up box. That's actually a really what's that eight pick Muldrifter? These people have no respect. O ring. Yeah, that's pretty good. I might have been convinced. I might have been uh, tempted to take Soulfire Grandmaster there, just because ancestral and time walker things. We're not that lucky. <laughs> Basing uh... current picks on future luck, or lack thereof. I think Razor Ridge second, I guess. Looking forward to chat's snarky comments live instead of YouTube. You think it's Razor Ridge? Yeah. You're Oop. probably not playing it, but whatever. One room falls, I guess. Look at all this easy way to get out to splash green in your blue, in your blue, white deck. Let's take his and Quagmire too. Wow. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. And Sylvan carry added. Look at all three green lands and a Sylvan carry added. You can play anything you want. Green. You can be anything you want. Your mom should told you that. Mine's desire, I guess. I guess so. You can play it as a one of. I took that idol on for you. I don't know if that was correct. Did you want me to take that? No. Well, looks like that's. I feel like we're real red right now. That's better. What a troll, dude. What a what a troll. Not quite the one we're looking for. Take Gee. Tundra. Yeah, I like Tundra a lot here. I feel like this art is almost the same. This Sylvan Carry added in Oracle will die art. Yeah, I can see. It almost looks like that's the background of the Oracle of Moldaya. Yeah, look, here's a summon carry added right here. <laughs> there it is. Um, because I'm greedy. Let's take Tinker. That. That, I mean, I don't think that's greedy when you consider this pack, though. Although we have literal a one artifact right now, but, yeah, I, but I like we'll, where your head's at, we'll man. We'll get there. We'll get there, he says. Famous last words. See, now we pick up a uh, Phyrexian Metamorph. That is a good one. That is a good artifact, boy. All right. Final answer? Mm-hmm. We do have another pack, so. Become a Tinker deck? There you go. You made everyone happy. Except for your mother. Hmm. What's it gonna be? Is the Seaver Exarch Restore Restoration Angel combo? No. You can't go infinite with that? Unfortunately not. Dang, that's too bad. Is it Frosty? Frosty the Titan was a very frosty also a wrath of God. You're a wrath of God. Yeah, I know. Got him. Um, Got him. I'll take Frosty. Got him! Oh, I agree with that. Especially if you can go like turn three mana drain and turn four Frosty. Snap, snap, snap. Fact or fiction? A little Foffy. Foffy on top. I did see the new Nicobolus. New Nicobolus looks sweet. I don't want any of these cards. You like Thrain Dynamo? I guess so. It adds three mana. Yeah, but it's colorless. Who cares? Who cares? I do. I care a lot. Don't. But you can take it, sure. Stop caring. You little... You little Mitch. Eh? No. Huh? Eh? No. We'll go, I'll play Frost Titan, and they'll be like, alright, I'm cool. And you're like... Just take Sword. It's pretty good. I like Sword here. We need to get some more Creechies, though. This pack's pretty good. Ooh, we have the Deceiver Exarch. Alexa! Stop! <laughs> I have no idea what she was responding to there. 
You're, this is the first draft of the night. Let's Sorry. Take that Splinter Twin, man. Abandon that white. Let's go for it. Weird. It is possible. We're really not that committed to white. There's like an O ring and an Ojitai. I don't actually think we have to actually even abandon the white because we just have these two and we also have Tundra and Solemn. True. But. Uh, Vincer. Pretty easy pick there. Nifty Chris, what's going on, my 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 brother? Michael Mew, <laughs> Michael Mew. <laughs> I understand that joke. That's pr- really is that a joke? I mean, it's like my first name and last name. Oh yeah, life. but when you say like I understand that joke, it made it sound like it was like a thing like you've heard before, like or it was a he was, you know what? Just forget it. I think okay. Inkwell. Yeah. Okay. Oath, I guess. I don't know. You don't think Revelark's good here? We got Muldrifter, Fencer, Solemn Simulacrum, Deceiver Exarch, Fen- Metamorph, like... Yeah, but we're not getting anything back, like, broken. We're just d- getting back, like, normal stuff. A Muldrifter and a v- Vencer isn't really good, though? It's okay, I guess. I'm taking it. You're not gonna take some Oath of Druids that you're not even gonna play. Take Gush, I guess. Gush... One in ink, or else you stink. I heard. I heard you say that a lot, actually. Timely is a good sideboard card. I agree. Stink it, mage. This guy doesn't get anything. Oh, here's an outfall. That was a late hero's downfall. Nope, nothing. Take that volcanic island. I knew you were gonna say that. You sure? Yeah. All right. He's going deep, ladies and gentlemen. See if this plateau comes back. That'd be sick, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like it when you answer me real matter-of-factly. Oh, I hope this card comes back, right? Yes. Ooh, to take the Pestermite, which is more targets. That, that works, right? Yeah, What? Yeah. of course. I mean, that's the combo. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, take the Pestermite. I agree with you. What? Is that a library? Let's take that, man. Whoa. Why is, Why is that still in the pack? Two other people were like, nah, I'm good without that. Wow, that's insane. That's 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 not okay. I want to move these so we know what we... Uh... Let's take True Name Notices. That card's impossible to beat, right? You're right. I, I agree with your choice here. He's a very frosty boy. Can you leave fewer cards up? It's dark and I need you to be a fly. I don't... What does that mean? Mike needs to calm down a bit. He's way too uppity. He does get a little uppity sometimes. Uh, you gotta put him in his place. Toilet boy or sword number two? <laughs> to- oh, now, oh, look. Now you're on the toilet boy train. Let's take sword number two. Also, to be fair, Toilet Boy was Mike's rap name, so. I think we can cut Tinker and Inkwell at this point. I don't think that's working out. You don't like Tink? You don't, you don't like Stinkwell? No. All right. I'll put these over here for now. If this was a treasure mage, or trophy mage, that'd be great, actually, because you can get either one of the swords. But, uh. <laughs> Sometimes I take a sword number two in the Toilet Boy. Oh. Because. I yeah, get it. That's how that. Ayo, that's really good for us. That's real good, especially because we have Tundra and Volcanic. And if that Plateau comes back, yeah, that's Mother sick. Of God, that was a sick, that was a sick pickup. Also, our white is super easy to splash here. Might as well pick up a Needle Spur. I think you should talk like uh, John Ralphio this entire this entire draft. <laughs> <laughs> needle Spires. Ooh, Wandering Fumeral or Treasure Cruise. I don't think we're a treasure cruise deck. Like, we don't have anything. Like, if you look, we have, like, very few instant sources that are going to the graveyard. Yeah. All of these are permanents. Permanent, permanent, permanent. I think it's Needle Spire it is. You mean Wander Fumeral? Yeah, whatever. We just took the Needle Spires, brah. I got them confused, man. They look all the same to me. I thought it was because of your stroke. All right, let's see. Plateau. One time. One time, Plateau! The white background. I'm walking in dark woods. And I might be getting attacked by Shia LaBeouf. 
Ooh. Walking through the woods, it's Shia LaBeouf. Plateau came back, but so did Colonnade. So did Colonnade, you're right. And I think Colonnade's better because we already have a bunch of red lands. We have four red lands. Which I think is plenty to splash the one red card. I think Colonnade is better. Yeah, let's say Colonnade. Make all your picks as Tom Haverford and John Ralphio. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey. This is a late time spiral. Yeah, but I think we're electrolyzing here. Can't you just time spiral on turn seven, untap six, and then go Splinter Twin? Pest I guess you wouldn't win, though. I'm actually yeah, real surprised work. that time spiral. Also, why does it definitely have 20 cards right now? Because we cut some cards. Yeah, but do we have to put them back? Because that's real low. I think we'll Manic Vandal. Lands. Yeah, we could play that. That's actually playable in the main deck. And we're, unfortunately, we don't have enough creatures to really Skull Clamp here, so... No. Uh, Terminate, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. Thing in the Ice. Or is it Dire Fleet Daredevil? Mm, that guy's... I don't know about how many red cards we want. I don't know how many spells we have, though, is the thing. It blocks, though, right? One... Was it was gonna block? I'm a dad. Alright, well, we took it. Academy runes, I guess. And Olivia Volsmarin. I feel like we got some... Alright, so how many things actually trigger Thing in the Ice? Literal, like... Oh, I think we have exactly... Okay, we have five things. <laughs> yeah, that's not very good. Okay, so we're probably not playing Thing in the Ice. We have no targets for Trinket Mage. We could play Gush. Which is a value card. It's fine. I wonder if Tinker and no, Leviathan have, are worth we, it. We don't have any targets. Like, we have, like, what, four or five artifacts? Yeah. Pretty much these. Tinker's these. just going to be dead in our hands. Dead in our hands. Let's play Gush 18 lands. 18 lands? Gross. I mean, what else are we going to play? Gross. I guess we could play Inkwell as just a really late... That seems bad. It's nine yeah. mana. Nine mana is like a million. But we do have Thran Dynamo. Do we play the value? And we have Mana Drain. Do we play the value Mind's Desire? <laughs> yeah, we'll just Mind Desire one for off. one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could probably get it to two. Storm Count one. I think we could get it to two. I think we just think well here. Like, we do have... I think we, we have Thran Dynamo and we have Mana Drain. Uh, mana drain. And it's real hard to beat an Inkle Leviathan, I think. Yeah. Colonnade Library. Ooh, I forgot we had that. That's exciting. One, two, three, four. So we have four sources of red. So it's probably at least two mountains. So it's six. We have actually we have like a lot of red. Yeah, three spells. Yeah, but one is double red. Like having to get two out of six red sources is pretty hard. Yeah, but that's like seven red sources. I don't think we need seven, right? Two out of six is what I'm saying. Like, if we have six, then it's two out of six. That's that's a, a lot to have to draw. How many planes does this leave us? Uh, well, hold on. This is seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. This is twelve blue sources, which is okay. pretty high. Probably cut two, actually. I think ten is is reasonable. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. This is six white sources, which is fine, because none of our white sources actually need double white. Well, we have some lands left though so we probably play another planes do we this is seven eight nine ten five six seven no that's everything all right let's run it you good all right this is mike's sweet jess kylas with splinter twin he didn't want to play tinker though because he doesn't like fun so yeah i hate fun uh that was actually uh jack antonov's first band hate fun no, fun dot dot. Fun dot. Like, fun period. You don't know that band? Nope. We, uh, you'll know it. You'll know it. I'm going to keep this hand just because I'm in a drain. Because then we can actually go turn three Frost yeah. Titan or Thran Dynamo if we actually get a some mana drain. This is going to get you ripped off YouTube, man. You're right. Oh, this man. 
That's all you get. That's all you get. Otherwise, forget. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful draw. Also, turn two mana drain could lead into turn three uh, Dragon Lord Ojitai. I mean, I'm a bigger Bleachers fan than a Fun fan. Oh, look at that. We're both... Oh, what if they mana ramp into something huge next turn? Huge. We could also end of turn Gush and return to Islands. I mean, there's no way they're just slamming their big spell into our counter spell, right? Like, but I've been wrong before. I mean, if they don't, we can just wait. I'm totally fine with that, too. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, you let him have that one. That's weird. Why wouldn't you tap these first? I guess because you have... Oh, you're going to just play... This is all very interesting. Do I counter that? No. Really? Let's just play Ojitai next turn. Like, we don't have anything to do next turn. Plus, it's a red sword, or it's a blue source. Yeah, but don't... I feel like they have, like, their one last card that they have left that matters. Actually, that's a good point. They have nothing here, so. Okay. This is Lizard Hand literally monolith three signet Findhorn Elf? <laughs> oh my god. All right, man. You can have all of this. I don't even. No, that was perfect draw. I just draw. feel like we. We literally can't lose as long as we counter their one relevant spell. <laughs> That's a good point. I was already to counter this isn't Signet. One, what, if what if their last card in hand isn't actually relevant? I mean, they're going to have a relevant spell right, eventually, right? And we this just means they have to have two. Legit food review. What? Is this it? Or are they just going to untap their Grim Monolith? They're Grimmy. I mean, to be fair, they have a they have us on a 20 turn clock. Yeah, that's true. The Relephants are some of my favorite animals, actually. We have no incentive to play anything here. We can just EOT Factor Fiction to hit some, hit some lands. I'm going to untap my Grimmy. Is there any, like, super uncounterable big spell? No. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If what if they go ten mana little mog? That's pretty brutal. Dexile two lands, but we get to, oh, we just get to add like ten million mana. Do we care about that? I don't think so. He's already got a million mana. He's like, yeah, I guess it puts him to thirteen instead of twelve. So, I mean, I guess if they have Emrakul, that doesn't even matter. They just take yeah. I guess they kill us if they have Emrakul, but can you not? Is Emrakul uncounterable? Pretty sure, yeah. Can we just blink this guy? Actually, I like blinking this guy better than... <sighs> so next time we can play Thran Dynamo and pass, I don't really feel like we... I still don't want to take my shield down, because I know they have... They gotta have something, right? Eventually. We can EOT Gush for full value. That's pretty cool. No, Progenitus isn't uncounterable. Wow, so okay, they have this guy and Rafelos. This is a lot of mana. Oh, that's not Rafelos mana. Are they just going to run it out there? Are they just doing it? God, I don't know what's happening right now. I'm feeling so many emotions right now. Alright, deal. You can have it this time. I guess you got it last time, too. Gush. Oh, oh, dang it! And a man, nice. Dynamo. If they do nothing, we can factor fiction. Capture those dynamos, those rumping, stomping dynamos. It's a dynamo hunt. Thran dynamo. Dynamo. Do do. If they attack with everybody, I'm like, okay, you still have nothing. Sounds good. They still have nine mana even after they do this, so. Oh, we hit the jackpot. Bo One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually have enough mana for Inkwell, so that's cool. Oh, this is going to be gonna be juicy boys 
tank top. Yeah, hundred percent tank top. We gotta do something though, right? Play land pass and win the game. We have nine cards though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten mana. I mean, we can do something here, right? Oh, we have Pestermite in the graveyard, actually, so we can just cast Revel Arc. Sure. I mean, we can't win this turn, so. And then, yeah, we that's fine. And we can actually discard Metamorph, because if then Revel Arc dies, then we get to copy it. If you never feel like you're making the right piles, you might not be. Piles are difficult. Piles be tricky. I'm going to tap your monolith. Get them. They have two spells and we have two counter spells, so... Splint. They've conceded from the game. Like, I think they were just immediately waiting for it. They're like, here we go. Here we go. Our sideboard's pretty bad. I don't think we have actually anything that we care about here. Yeah, this is not a timely matchup. I would say this matchup is quite timely. <laughs> what was that? Uh, what? <laughs> what are you doing, man? So that's what you did. I blacked out. <laughs> Yeah, I actually I think our opponent had an impressive amount of ramp that game. I uh, I was not expecting that. I figured they'd have something, and then it was just more ramp, and I was like, this is excessive. But we never had to show them either Remand or Mana Drain, so that's pretty cool. I think they knew. I mean, they might they might have had a feeling, but they don't know. Well, that's Oof. sad. As you, also, Manic Vandal, MVP in this matchup. Oh, uh, this is fine. No red, but... It's kind of like we went to five because of Inkwell, but, you know, whatever. That's true. I don't like an Inkwell in this hand. Oh, oh let's keep that. Yeah. I like I it. I can kill their Rofellas. Or their Lana War Elf. Or both, ideally. So, we're going to draw Wandering Funeral and Splinter Twin uh, in the next two turns. So, that's cool. Yep. Flash relate to the party, Elvish Mystic. Okay, that wasn't it. I lied to you. I hope they go over fellows here, because that would be such blowouts. That'd be goosey. They went to six too, so that's pretty good. Also we have five mana. We're only four away from Inkwell. I don't know what the problem is. Hmm. That's that's also fine. I accept. Uh, yeah, that's that's also a deal I'll take. Oh, and they missed a land drop too. I feel bad, but only only so much, you know. Oh, there was the wandering funeral. I was one man. I was one turn off. So Splinter Twins on the top. When they had Dang. nothing. Nice. Should have played untap land there. Now we can't venture their spell. Well, I want to have the double red. So if they if they play a spell, we could just go Pestermite. And then we're going to draw Splinter Twin right now. You ready? Dang it. Well, we drew something close to it. That is... It is it's in the Splinter Twin family. <laughs> Touche. What's going on here? Hmm. I should turn that to their hand. Boop. We're getting real close. I feel it. I can feel it in my bones. 
feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. I think we're going to also uh, pester might and tap their island down. At their upkeep? Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's also two on flyer, so put yeah. a lot more pressure on them. Under pressure. Yeah, tap that dude. Yeah, tap it. Tap it good. Burn, 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 burn. Burn, burn. That guy will be good eventually. We're actually real close to the Zinqua Leviathan, comically enough. Are you slamming with... Yes. Yeah. Crack that whip. I mean, I guess it kind of sucks if he has a way to kill it. They don't have no way to kill it. Oh, no, no. Zero. They would have killed Pestermite if they had a way to kill it. I mean, Dak Fade and, and drawing is pretty good, but we also have eight power on board, so. Oh, fan. Manic Vandal. That's, a target. That's pretty good. They tapped in such a way that they can't... I guess they... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Here comes Splinter Twin, right? Thran Dynamo, Mountain, and Metamorph. That's pretty good. Did we just kill Ashiok? Well, if we go for their face, they're pretty dead, right? Well, they can make Metamorph, get Venser, bounce Wandering Fumarole. Yeah, that's pretty bad. I think we just kill Ashiok and then kill this uh, Signet. Yeah, alright. We still get to deal two, and then they're still dead on board next turn. Ashiok, your face. Crack that whip! Any free spells that they can cast here? Slaughter Pact, which would actually be hilarious. That would be would fantastic. Them. I also don't think that's in the cube. It might be. Do you like Tyler One? I don't have no idea who Tyler One is. He's a league streamer. Oh, I don't. I don't play league, so I don't dislike Tyler One. If that uh... you should. Oh. He got banned for like two years. He's kind of a douche. Oh, then no. Why would but I like he, that? Like he has a, he has so many viewers. I don't understand it. I feel like the person's making a joke because they're like, because I'm doing like killing Golgari Signets and not. Would you say I just cracked that whip? Crack that whip! Hey, what? Oh. Unfortunately, I feel like our opponent didn't do much, but, you know, that's, that's cube sometimes, man. Sometimes you're decked he's, he's a good man, apparently. He's actually not a good person, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm more inclined to, to believe that than the first one. I think our deck was good. We splintered to win the first game. Got the whole mana drain the whole time. Man, I was actually really excited about countering something with mana drain so we could be like turn three Frost Titan or Ojitai or something. Never happened. Yeah, what suckers we are. I don't even know why I play this game. He has a big heart. Does he have a big heart? I don't know. Oh. I don't really watch him. I will play first. I watch him for like five minutes and I'm like, yeah, I realize why people don't like this guy. We See you later. I wish we didn't play first. Yeah, the library's better on the draw. I mean, we could just play library and then pass and then on our turn activate a seven cards in hand. That's what we yeah, have to do. Plan, that's yeah. the plan. I mean, I'm, I was, I was obviously tempted to play Wandering Fumarole, but. Library Go is so gross. Library Go is pretty disgusting. <laughs> like you do. Oh, fantastic. Magic is a game of skill. So now we can go island, have seven cards. We can manage during what they play. We can also library. Big fan from Australia. I love it. That's so that's so awesome to hear. Like people like literally the farthest the farthest point from me. It's so crazy. The internet's crazy, man. 
Oh, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll just play this and pass. How's that sound? Pretty good. Okie dokie. If you do something, I'll drain it. If you don't, I'll draw a card. If you do something, I'll draw a card and I'll still drain it. I was going to say, you want to do it in that order. Yes, correct. Correct. Although we have nothing to really play off a of drain right now. Do I just remand it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll have nine cards next turn, so I'll have to play a land and then I can't draw again. Well, remain unless you draw a card. Right, that's what I mean. I Right, so I'm going to have seven cards. I go back to seven cards. I draw a card, I go to eight cards. I draw for the turn, I go to nine cards. Mm-hmm. I'll play a land, and then I'll have okay. too many. You'll then I have to cards. discard. Yeah. Yeah, so what? All right, man. Just saying. Correct that whip. Oh, now they're going to play the good card. Oh, they're just probably going to play Pentad Prism again. Well, that's unfortunate. It's not really unfortunate, so. Splinter 12 to top. dropping the spires right yeah 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 i feel like we just discard gush here yeah i don't think we need it i don't think we're gonna be gushing anytime soon boop i have to discard to seven so that i'm able to draw <laughs> it's uh, very convenient we can just start beating with our exarch i'll beat you with my exarch all right not gonna get a lot of mana. Ooh, now our Urborg, now our library taps for black. That's cool. I agree. Oh my god, they're gonna give us so much mana right now. Whatever this is is getting countered. Oh, oh god, yeah. yes. Draw a card. Oh, man, that was good. Woo! We can actually play Sword. Activate. Wandering Fumeral. So it's definitely it's definitely Lava Claw, or Volcanic Island, right? Yeah. So now we have seven cards. We have eight. That's Sword Sword. That's for six. One, two. Activate. We can, we can equip one Sword. And attack with Wandering Fumeral. I don't know if that's good. We can also just draw a card. I think we're drawing a card first. It's actually pretty good. They said not anymore. I don't know. Oh! <laughs> not, a, not a big fan anymore. Oh, dang it. Um, Let's Manic Vandal. Sort of body and mind, maybe? Yeah. We're one away from actually equipping here. So we're going to equip, equip here and play. We have one, two, three, four, five mana. It's going to cost four to activate this guy. Dang it. Also, Needle Spiral's next turn with swords is pretty good. Let's play the sword and pass. Well, I'm not going to just pass them all. Oh, uh, we could pass and keep Deceiver X Arc up, I guess. Yeah, do that. All right, that seems fine. God, we're so, we're so far out of uh, library range now. I think it did its job. Okay, Mikey, are you a fan of barbecue? Yes. Who isn't a fan of barbecue? Dang. <sighs> Mike, why are you not as drunk anymore? Drunk Mike makes excellent draft choices. I guess I could get lit. I don't remember Mike being. I don't remember the last time Mike was drunk. Actually, neither do I. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be brutal. How much is one, two, three, four to activate this guy? All right, so that's not reasonable. Did you play this guy? Yeah, why not? 
I mean, if we just happen to top deck a, uh, if we just happen to top deck a Splinter Twin, we win, right? Dang it, we didn't do it. We can draw cards. We might still get there. How are we going to draw cards? Oh, yeah, that's true, I guess. But, well, no. Well, but, yeah, we're already being combat, so that doesn't work. I mean, it, it does, but it doesn't. Whatever that means. It does, but it doesn't. Amazing. News. Diversifying your threats. Yeah, man. Let's see what you got in this deck of yours. They're also at six. Fencer. What do we got here? Another Signet, Thirst for Knowledge, Worm Coil Engine, Eureka. That's a trap. Noxious Gear Hulk. Metalworker Doretti. All right. There's like five color stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do we play land here? No, nah, man. Let's get greedy. Try to get that library going again. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do it, but I don't know if I like it. You got to diversify your threat portfolio. That's true. That's a true story. I mean, he's looking pretty dead right now. That's what you think. They have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven mana. They could deluge for first. No, they can't. They could deluge for five and die. They could have wrath. Nope, that isn't wrath mana though. They can't have pernicious deed because they haven't paid a green. Black sun's in. Oh, that sure. Okay. Lightning greaves. They could have lightning greaves. Time Time walk. walk. Okay. Okay. Interesting. You sack these three. Like, even if he gets white still, like, unless don't he has have a way to Yeah. Plus, we have a blocker, so we wouldn't actually die. Is it any artifact or it's creature? It's any artifact. Okay. Yeah. Mind slaver. One, two, three, four, five. So they could mind slaver us. I don't know if that particularly does anything. Yeah, I feel like we're getting a mind slavered here. Yeah, especially because they floated too. I mean, if they have Blightsteel, we have a blocker, so. They just asked if we were recording. Well, two minutes ago, so. Alright, so it is Blightsteel. Snapcaster time walk. That still doesn't do it, though, right? No. Like, you gotta have Greaves Snapcaster in hand. And even Greaves, like, we block and we go to 9 poison. They just have to kill us this turn because we have Venser, so we can just bounce that and kill them. Third artifact becomes an artifact creature face power. Okay, sure. That doesn't do it, right? Oh, they could look for Greaves, but even the Greaves doesn't do it. Alright, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Look at the top five. Also, Blightsteel is interesting. It doesn't shuffle their whole library in, so that's a thing. Um, so it's not like an Eldrazi where our mill plan is useless. Animate dead on Noxious Gear Hulk. Okay. That's pretty good. That will gain you some lifeies. We can actually copy that? That's pretty good. Copy that, good buddy. Is this is power or toughness? Oh god, you're gonna gain six here? Just brutal. I mean we have Oblivion Ring Venser in hand. And and we can actually metamorph this guy. That seems good, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do that. Oh, we just Venser this guy, Metamorph this guy, right? Yeah. We don't have enough mana. <laughs> Not playing a land last turn hurt us. You could draw a card. Actually, no, we have Metamorph. We can go Metamorph. Uh, Oblivion Ring this guy, Metamorph copy the Gear Hulk and kill the, kill the own Gear Hulk. Yeah, we can still do that. That's fine. Yeah. Do the mana for that? Yeah, we have it's three and three. Oh yeah. Blue, blue. You. 
Metamorph. I mean, I'd much rather copy the Noxious Gear Hulk, but... Oh. Phyrexian Mana, why, why are you like this? Metamorpho. Copy this guy. Kill his own self. Put him in the graveyard. Yes, use the Noxious Gear Hulk ability. Ben Scooperino. All right, that's up pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. I don't know what to. Nothing still, right? Like our our yeah. sideboard's terrible. It has nothing in it. We just gotta rely on the main deck. Hope that gets us there. Rely on the old MD medical doctor. No one's relying on that. What if you're at the hospital? Got him. Interesting. Zaxor, thank you so much, man. Mike drunk bits. Let's get Mike. Let's make Mike great again. Wow. <laughs> oh man, that's fantastic. I like it because Zaxor is not even American. Sand's rough. It's not bad. It's just rough. I think Oblivion Ring is very slow. good against them, though. I think we keep it. Okay. We might be dead. Dead? Yeah. They're not going to seem fast, man. They have a bunch of mana accelerants. Do they? They played Ugin on, like, turn four. Yeah, but then we countered it, so... Pff, well, I care. Well, I don't know how we're doing that right now. I got an Oblivion Ring. That counters things. It doesn't actually do that. They play an Ugin. What are they going to do? Lightning Bolt our face? Okay, then I'll Oblivion Ring it. Yeah. But Look, they didn't even have a second get, land drop, man. You'll get bolted, though. If they don't have a third, if they don't have, if they miss a second land drop here again, we get to just Magic Vandal their Rakdos Signet. All right, we're just gonna, we're, the game just ended. Probably. They were too greedy, sis. And we get to go this guy into this guy. One, oh. ten, the game just ended, Bits. <laughs> oh, boy. And a C in the funny pages. Ooh. I would keep Remand up, but realistically, I'm not scared of anything we're going to do next turn, so. Just going to keep that island. Now nah, we'll get a planes here. So now we have two red, two white sources. Just in case. Even though we have single white spelled things. The audio for that stop is only picked up on my mic? That's weird. Why would that be? Just wanted to say that I really enjoyed your indomitable creativity. Awesome. Fuck money. Thank you so much. If you guys didn't know, I do post new exclusive content on Patreon for a dollar a month. You guys can check that out. Uh, for three dollars a month, I do like podcasts on Patreon every week for like 15 to 20 minutes. And uh, those have been pretty sweet too. I've been enjoying those. But um, yeah, thank you so much. I did an indomitable creativity deck the other week and uh, I posted some updates to it on Patreon. And uh, the deck was pretty sweet. I mean, I don't. Like, we have Counterspell, Remand, Oblivion Ring in hand, so KCI should be Crack, crack Clan, Ironworks. Ugh. Um. No, you're dead if we counter this, right? Yeah. All right, let's just counter it then. This is eight mana. Look at these value, gentlemen. Dang it. We were gonna Electrolyze, which would have drawn us Metamorph, which would have drawn us. A mountain, and that would have drawn us a plains, and that would have drawn us. Well, right, you won. Just get on with it. He's already dead. He's already dead. Oh, that is only showing up on my audio. That's interesting. Hmm. I wonder why that is. That doesn't make any sense at all. 
let's check desktop audio and properties. Properties! Oh, actually, I think I might know why. Um, desk. Let's see if that makes it. Nope, that didn't do it either. All right, I have to go change my speakers, I imagine. Settings. I will play first. Audio. Uh, default device. Nailed it. This hand's a little rough. This hand's, well, I mean, it's very rough. We got a six drop, seven, nine drop. I don't think we keep this hand. This is so much better. You're right. I'm going to put you on the bottom. What was it? Blink of an eye. Hmm. Blink of an eyeball. More like stink of an eye. Hey, look at Target. <laughs> Target acquired. Manic Vandal online. I'm just going to crack now. Get care. that Tundra. Yeah. Because every time you crack a fetch land, you always draw a land anyway. So Yeah, so it doesn't even matter. Everyone's a big fan tonight. Actually, is this three for three in big fans? Man, that's so many So big many fans. fans that are big. Don't do anything crazy. Just got to pass the turn. Don't play Scarab God here. Oh, two a targets? New, a new target has been acquired. <laughs> also, we can just go Manic Vandal into Metamorph and kill all of their things. I like that. A new target has been acquired. And their Mana Vault is tapped? Oh, man. Dude, this... Don't you have to pay like four to untap Yeah, it? dude. That thing is staying tapped for a while. Can I take one? Man, what a sucker. I think we're, just, I think we're Metamorphing. I really think we're Metamorphing this. Um, not yet, because he can't untap anything. Actually, yeah, I guess it doesn't matter. You smart. You so smart. Although we could copy his mana vault. Does that do anything we care about, though? No, not right now. Not with our current hand. Mike, everyone who plays is a fan of you. It's crazy. How do they even know? Do we tap one of their things down? Um... Let's let them play it out. See what happens. <laughs> Let's see what happens. What we could get, possibly go tap, wrong? We could tap their looter so they don't draw a card. I like that. Tap your little snooter. One time. Tap out for something dumb and then we'll draw Splinter Twin. Exactly like we're going to draw it up. There's no way they're tapping out. Whatever. I'll just play naturally. I don't think we play Revel Arc here. We can just get both these guys back when we get a Revel Arc. Like, if they die. Does that make sense? Right -o. It puts a good amount of pressure on them. It though. does, but then they can just kill it. So if they have a removal spell, I'd rather than waste on one of these. And I have to assume with. Hmm, okay. I always want to see what they get with impulse. That's not how impulse works. I know. I'm always like, all right, we got to reveal it, right? No? Okay, that's fair. But this poor mana vault, they're just like, forget it. It's a lost cause. It's like a mana crypt where you lose the lose the flip every one, one in every three turns, right? Which makes it a lot more broken, in my opinion. So better? Yeah. But you only get to use it once, don't forget. Yeah. Like mana crypt, you get to use every turn, whether you lose the flip or not. Oh, discarded a Vraska's contempt. That's interesting. We just got so much removal. Oh. Say an artifact creature enchantment or land. Okay. So I can just oblivion. Um, oh god. What do they have here? If we put in Phyrexian Metamorph, do we don't get to copy it? Do we? I don't know how that works. I don't either. Because it enters the battlefield as a copy of something. No, I don't think we get to copy it. I don't think that's how that works, unfortunately. 
I mean, we do get to target whatever they put into play, though. You just do O ring, right? Well, I'd rather just I'd rather save I'd rather play Revel Arc because like it's a lot of pressure on the board, and we can just O ring whatever they put into play, and then we have four, five, six, seven, eight damage. Sure. Uh, it's each it's at the same time, so I'll just put. Sure, we can also Phyrexian Metamorph this guy. If we draw a land, we can go Metamorph O ring, which is just insane. Or we can just or win, just I win guess. The game. Yeah, that, that works. I guess they get up a bounce spell, but turns out they do not. Woo! Splinter Twin, boys! Also, our hand was just insane against whatever they show and tell. Again, show and tell being a complete trap. Because you're two for one yourself very, very frequently. Keep looking at that sideboard. I'm like, no, nope, still nothing. Useless. We literally have no sideboard. We have one timely reinforcements just in case. We have no sideboard, but our deck's really good, so it's fine. Yeah, we haven't needed it yet. We're 4-0. We're, we're five zero right now, so. Show and never tell me the odds. The old snoot and tease, a classic. <laughs> oh, I kind of like this hand. Any really red, sources? Draw red source? Yeah, I think this is keepable. We're on the draw, too. And we got a Mull Drifter if we draw any other land. Library. Dang it. That was, that was greedy. I would have said Wandering Fumeral. No, man. I want that greed. <laughs> okay, well. Not bad. It's not bad. I mean, it lets us kick Mull Drifter, which is the important part. The old sniff and tug. All right. Man, you're good at this game. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Uh, did we just mulch here? Um, I kind of like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. We have seven cards. We actually have to discard if we mulch drifter. So I guess we it doesn't seem great. Could have played sword there though. I don't know why I didn't. I guess I wanted to keep mana, but. Yeah, now we have Venser and Factor Fiction and Blink of an Eye up, so. I feel like we're in good shape here to just win this game, but. The weird thing about Cube is that it's hard to make claims like that because anything can happen. You got it. <laughs> they're going to be like, they have it all. Or they're going to be like, they have nothing. I mean, if they show until Lulamog, we just Blink of an Eye it. That's fine. I think we just Venser here. I like Fact better. We're, like, we have seven cards is the problem. What are you going to bounce? Just going to bounce an island. Puts... Because also if we draw land, we can sword. <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. We just play that guy, right? Yeah, I think so. They know our hand, so... They know we don't have any counter spells anyway. I'll name you. We could have drawn one. You don't know. I finally get to see the invisible drink live. Or do you? <laughs> oh, you haven't learned your you haven't learned your mana vault lesson, eh? Oh. We could play sword, gush, replay a land, and equip. Yeah, I like that. So good at this game. Oh, mana drain. I mean, we're still going to return. Oh, we have our own drain in response? Oh, that's fantastic. What do we pitch? Um, We want double red. Probably fa probably Factor Fiction or Muldrifter, to be honest. Like, what about Vandal? I like Vandal. I think it's useful. Like, he only has the one mana vault, and he's probably going to use it next turn, so... Yeah, but if they play, like... Yeah, but we've we've seen, like, Wormcoil. They had, like, Wormcoil, didn't they? Is that the... No, that was a different game. That was a different game? game? Yeah. I don't, just don't think we need all these cards. Like... It's a pitch fact. 
Yeah, I think that's fine. It feels weird, but I don't want to pitch lands. Splinter Twin is pretty pretty strong, and uh... what if they just hard cast Ulmog here? I mean, we get to drain it. Well, they don't have enough mana for that. Well, they do because they get the mana drain mana. Oh yeah. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. They could just hard cast Ulmog here. I, I imagine they're going to bizarre for it. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty brutal, but we still have true nemesis. And we can just bounce the blink of an eye. We also get 10 mana next turn. So, I mean... Which means we can cast Faraska's Contempt. That's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, all right. That's it? Hmm. Intriguing. Copy. <laughs> oh, boy. I don't think we need to do that. I agree with you, but boy. I mean, I'm just going to play Needle Spires and keep up Mana Drain, right? Yeah. Or do we play Island so that we have Blink of an Eye and Mana Drain up? I don't think we need both. I don't think we need both. I also like having five next turn so we can Metamorph Mana Drain or Metamorph Blink of an Eye. Five mana is better than... Five mana next turn is better than four mana this turn. Well, their search for Ascanta gets to flip. They do have an Alesh Norn and an Iona in the graveyard. Which are somewhat scary. If they had a reanimation thing, though, they probably wouldn't have spent time killing the true name Nemesis. Interesting they tap down port, because, like, if we have a counterspell. Oh, exhum. Wow. I guess we counter that for two. Not thrilling, but. We definitely counter that. Yeah, I feel like they should have tapped down my Rashad and port first. They have no blue mana up, so that's pretty sweet. Two mana. I think now we Manic Vandal the vault. Do we? I think so. One, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven. Oh. We can also deal seven this turn. How? Oh. Activate Colonnade. Attack with the true name as well. Eh. I just don't like... we. Have, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. They have seven mana already. Like, I guess it keeps them off Ulamog. Yeah, which would, which would be pretty brutal. Oh, that's not the one. This one. Do we just keep up uh, Blink of an Eye? I don't want to actually put another, uh, like, another True Name Nemesis on the board because if they have another reanimation spell to get a Leshnorn, it's pretty brutal. And I'd rather just keep Metamorph. Also, isn't True Name Nemesis legendary? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> You'd think it would be, but no. It's definitely a card where you're like, wow, why isn't this legendary? It'd be the bro it might be the most broken commander of all time if it was, though. That would be ridiculous. <laughs> that would be insane, dude. Oh, Tequila, what's going on, Grandma? Why is this meme a thing, this Grandma <laughs> meme? All right. Don't look at me. Every time they do that, I'm just like, ooh, they don't have a big spell. Charter Course, that is not one yet. That's also going to cost you two mana, and you only have three mana left, so. Are they digging for the reanimate? Because they're at seven. They can't actually reanimate Iona or Eleshenorn. And those are the only creatures in your graveyard other than the looter. Um, 
Yeah, I guess we'll do this again. I don't really have a... Put a mold drifter? Yeah. I mean, I don't know if the metamorph interaction works the way we want it to. Ooh, old old schmizzle lock. What if they just kill themselves? Reanimate and Gilded Lotus. So they go to five, so they basically have... They're dead. We just blink of an eye. No, we don't even have to. Like, they block here, and they take three, five. Good games. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the old 6-0 with this deck. Man, Michael B apparently knows, it. knows some things about the Vintage Cube. Thank you guys so much for watching. really appreciate it. For you Twitch viewers, I'm not leaving right now. I'm actually just closing out the YouTube video. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. The link is in the description along with my Twitch, my Twitch channel. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.